Hey guys, it's Lenny. It's 2017. Best wishes to you all. I hope you had a great uh, month of December, uh, great holidays, Christmas. If you have, if you made plans for the new year, I really wish you a better year than last year. Even if you didn't have a bad year in 2016, I do wish you an even better year this year. And uh, yeah, it's been it's been a while. It's definitely been a while since I vlogged. It's even been a while since I've actually filmed a video. Uh, uh, I think it's been two weeks since I've actually filmed anything. But um, yeah, I'm here to uh, chat with you a little bit. I'm sorry about the the way I look. It's just how it's gonna. It's how it is at the moment. Um, I do feel how I look. But I'm gonna I'm gonna talk this uh, talk this out with you and um, even if I do break down a little bit during this uh, during this talk I'll edit it out so there isn't any uh, awkward crying moments I uh, I don't really enjoy when other YouTubers do that so I'm gonna be strong and let's talk uh, this this through I'm gonna change my arms a lot I'm I'm pretty. I'm I'm kind of exhausted uh, in here, but also in my body. <laughs> it hasn't been um, an easy last couple of days. Today's the first day, the first day. Well, it's the first Monday since the New Year, so I I need to get back on the horse. <laughs> so this year is going to be a lot about um, building myself back and moving forward and being strong. It's about going to be about leaving 2016 behind which is going to be quite tough if I if I can admit this to myself um, I'm not gonna go over it too much because it is my personal life but I am gonna be I, I do I want to start vlogging again I want to uh, not probably not daily vlog though there might be some daily vlogs but at least maybe weekly vlogs or, you know, when there's something interesting. I want to get back in front of the camera. I know Vlogtober really helped me be more, you know, fluent and open and less stuttery in front of the camera. So I'm definitely uh, going to get that going again. But I want to explain what's been happening with me because I am going to be having my ups and downs a lot for the next few months, I think. It's not gonna be an easy time is what I'm trying to say, but um, I don't know, maybe you're having a tough time and uh, we can get through this together. <laughs> what do you think of that? So I think about since Christmas I've been um, saying goodbye to a relationship that was very important to me and very... I don't, I don't know the words, but I've been dealing with a big a big change in my life at the end of a a big chapter and even though i know it's for the best in the long run it isn't easy it isn't easy at all and uh, that's why i haven't been in front of the camera a lot and uh, this is why i'm gonna be maybe looking like this from time to time in my vlogs maybe not hopefully not in my main videos i'm gonna i i want it to be cheery and upbeat and in my vlogs, I, I want to be positive. I'm I'm gonna do my my very best to be positive and and you know moving forward and building this new life for myself. But if I do look like this, it's gonna it, it's okay. I'm okay. It's I'm fine. I'm just you know fighting, going through something. And uh, this is the, the the new chapter of my life. And then the title of this year of 2017 is leaving 2016 behind leaving the past behind because this is this is it this is what it's gonna be so yes in other news uh i do want to start vlogging again that's gonna be something a little extra uh with my hopefully weekly videos i say hopefully because i'm going to start uh testing some new type of videos which will include some animation which is something i'm going to get into so maybe some videos will be late or some videos will need more work and will will require more than one week to to be finished so i'm um, my goal is to uh, put out one video a week, but I don't want to. I don't want to rush through the process of editing and creating those videos. 
so um if i don't always respect that rule just just know that it's probably a bigger production than anticipated um so yeah weekly vlogs and uh, new new videos i'm going to try out for the weekly vlogs it might not be fascinating at first i know i'm going to spend a lot of time uh, just, you know, recentering myself. I'm gonna be home a lot, uh, cocooning and um, really focusing on work and nothing else, really. That's just the way I, I work through things. Um, but I'm sure eventually I'll be going back out with friends and seeing people. So 2017, a lot of projects, but a lot of hardships to get over. First... <laughs> Yeah, that's all I want to say for now. <laughs> so day two, <laughs> might as well call this the the breakup diaries uh, 2017. Eh? <laughs> so I'm actually meeting a friend today, which is why I uh, I have a little bit of makeup on, just a tiny bit of uh, under eye concealer, which is not doing the best job. But considering that this morning I woke up with the biggest eye bags in the world. <laughs> This is all I'm gonna be able to do. I just wanted to feel a bit fresher and uh, look better than what I felt, if that makes any sense. I just, you know, the ref what is being reflected back at me need makes me feel better than if I was just like looking gross and stuff. So <laughs> I'm making an effort. Um, this morning wasn't easy, obviously, but um, I'm feeling right now, I'm, I'm not sure about later, but right now I'm feeling okay compared to yesterday. Uh, yesterday after filming, I tried to get, you know, back into it, back into the routine, back into work, and it did not work out. I was breaking down, I was crying, I think I had like the full blown realization of what was happening to me just come right after, uh, after like feeling okay. I, I felt fine, well, fine. I felt like strong and confident yesterday when I was talking to you guys and then right after that I just completely fell apart I was uh, texting my mom the entire day like I, I'm not sure I can do this how am I gonna do this and um, I was like finding ways to deal with the pain and coping and I was like pa completely panicking and this morning I again I wanted to get back into it I went, wanted to get out of bed early but um, <laughs> that didn't work out either it's not that I was like crushed it's that I was afraid to get up and deal with the pain so even though I woke up around 7 I stayed in bed until like <laughs> past 9 and uh, looking for videos and ways for me to get up and accept the pain i think that's probably the thing i need to work on most is accepting that it's gonna be there and that i'm not gonna and numbing it is not gonna be a good idea and etc etc so i don't know if anything uh, this might be a huge ramble but yeah that's this this is where i'm at today i am accepting the pain any type of pain i'm accepting the the sadness, the fear, the anger, the loneliness, uh, me missing that person so much. I'm accepting crying, I'm accepting... The hardest thing right now for me to accept is that I'm not going to be able to get back into work the way I thought I was. I was completely prepared a few days ago, like 2017, I'm going to wake up at 5.30, I'm going to work out, I'm going to do uh, one sketch a day and a video every week, and right now I need to accept that it's not going to happen the way I, I want it to. I got to accept that I might need a week off, well, not co probably not completely off, but you know, like a week to like, you know, take care of myself. That's Those are all the hard things I need to accept. Anyway, I don't want to ramble on too much because uh, if I do, like, give an update, like, every day for this week, I know that the whole weekly vlog will be, like, 40 minutes long. So I'm going to keep try and keep this short. And, uh, yeah, this is where I'm at today. And I'm going to go meet a friend, which will probably do me either a lot of good or... Uh, I don't know, we'll see. I hope some good. Because I, I feel like I'm keeping it together and I'm afraid that, you know, like, 
talking about it again is going to I don't know maybe you understand what I'm talking about if you're going through the same thing <laughs> Anyway, maybe I guess see you tomorrow guys. I'm not gonna vlog too much this week, but Yeah <laughs> So I was looking at the stages of grief the uh, the more classical ones like um, denial anger bargaining depression and then acceptance and I was trying to see uh, which one I was at and yesterday I was Yesterday evening I felt okay like not like, oh, I'm doing great, I'm doing fine, but I felt like, I felt okay. And I, then it, it got me wondering, like, am I supposed to be feeling okay? Maybe I'm in denial. Yeah, maybe I feel okay because I feel like this is just temporary. I feel like uh, in a few months uh, we're going to be together again or everything's going to be fine very soon. I don't know. I'm not saying that's my my belief but I was it really got me thinking like is it normal that I feel okay and and I actually had had trouble falling asleep that night because I was I was starting to get afraid like if I really am in denial then the 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 full blown reality of things is is going to hit me one at one point or another so am I in, am, am I in denial am I not in denial what's going on <laughs> and today I woke up I was completely grumpy and I was starting to think my, to myself like oh great now I'm angry I'm in I'm in the next step I'm angry I'm pissed off but also my time of the month just started so Maybe that's it. That's probably the main reason for why I'm very grumpy today. <sighs> so now I have no clue in what stage of grief I am. I feel so many things at the same time. Some times I feel okay. And then I freak out because I feel okay. Uh, Either I'm in denial and I've still got all the other stages to go through. Either I truly am starting to be okay. Maybe I need to start coming to... I'm going to start coming to terms that one day or maybe sooner than I thought, I'm going to be okay without this person. And that freaked me out also. Maybe I'm gonna be... F well, I am going to be fine, but... For, for these past few days, I, I, I was just concentrating on dealing with the pain and pain management and accepting it, accepting that I'm going to suffer for a really long time. And I am suffering, I am hurting, I am missing that person deeply, I am missing him so much. But also this morning the truth hit me that at some point I am going to be fine Ugh, this angle. I'm going to be fine without that person I'm going to be okay without him I'm probably even going to be happy without him and I know this sounds like well duh that's the goal but that's kind of scary to me maybe I am, I am, I am actually creating a new future for myself that doesn't include the person that I thought was going to be in my future and that's freaking me out it actually makes me want to cling on to the pain that I was trying to put away it makes me want to cling on to it like no I am still in it I am still suffering I still want to be with that person it's so many emotion guys so many it's not even like five stages of grief doesn't even define it it's like pain go away, no pain, please stay with me because that's all I have left or it's it's really weird so today uh, it's gonna be a weird day probably because of time of the month and I'm gonna be uh, really grumpy and in a bad mood and my body's gonna be a bit weaker than it already is uh, but yeah I just need it's just like one step at a time right it's that's the way it is, but I am. I, I guess I can say that I'm proud of myself. I'm. 
I'm keeping active because the cure the, the cure to grief is motion. It is uh, making your brain move. I don't know how to explain it. I saw I saw a TED talk about it. It's like when you you're cut off from love. It's like being cut off from dopamine, and you need to keep moving to create a new like to get your brain back into motion. So I do. I mean, yoga helps so much yoga is so helpful and simple things like doing laundry or taking down the christmas tree they give me a sense of accomplishment which does make my brain feel a little happy so it's like replacing the, the drug i don't know i don't know that's not pro it's probably not the whole scientific explanation i'm probably saying it wrong but that's what i'm doing and um one step at a time and I guess the theme of today is not dealing with pain but freaking out over the pain maybe going away which is so weird it's so weird hey guys welcome back to the <laughs> breakup diaries don't worry I am only doing one week of these um, the reason I'm doing these actually is because I do want to remember the stages I'm going through also it helps me to um, talk about my uh, daily state of mind I think this is day four even though it's it feels like it's been forever usually time just flies by and a, a whole month has gone by and I'm like what the hell where did it go and now it's like oh my god it's been four days it's only been four days it feels like at least two weeks <sighs> so uh, theme of the day is I'm still confused I'm still bloody confused uh, I didn't sleep too well again I haven't been sleeping very well I take a lot of time to fall asleep and then when I wake up it's like 4 30 a.m. and then I just snooze and wake up and snooze and wake up and then I just end up staying in bed later than I intended to. Compared to yesterday, I do feel better. I am less grumpy, I'm less moody. My uh, time of the month pains, let's call them Tom pains, are um, less severe than yesterday. And I did get some work done yesterday, so like some, some real work, like a lot of... Um, like not... <laughs> Compared to what I can do in one day, it's not like, wow, I did a lot of work, but it's like, ah, I worked yesterday. And yeah, otherwise, I'm still kind of in the same state of mind as yesterday. I'm kind of wondering if I'm, if I'm doing okay for real or if I'm in den denial and everything is just going to come later. Um, I, I'm not sure which one it is. Either I'm doing too fine and... Like I said, I'm in denial, like my brain it doesn't want to believe what's happening and it thinks that it's just temporary or maybe I'm just, I'm doing better than I thought and that's also a scary thing. Like acceptance is a scary thing, it's just as, it's just as scary as denial. <laughs> okay, that was the talk for today. I'm gonna go into, what am I gonna do right now? Blah. <laughs> See? It's like moving forward. I want to do it and at the same time... Oh my god. This is not the life I'm, I want to choose but I'm going to have to choose it because it's just, it's just easier that way. It's easier to, to go with it rather than fight it. So yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna climb into that, into that life that is freaking me out. I have new Hebrews. Now you do. Hello, everybody. This is the last day of the breakup diaries because honestly, I'm tired of talking about it. I didn't intend to do any more of these anyway, but now that it's kind of the last day, I'm like, I'm over it. I'm completely over this. I'm. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm in a really grumpy mood again 
I, I didn't sleep well again, I haven't slept well all week but on top of that I had some bad dreams uh, not some nightmares but like just dreams where you wake up and you're like At, you're like relieved that it was just a dream but also it's kind of not just a dream uh, I don't know if you get it, I, I don't want to talk about it anyway, not not here I don't, it was uh, you know, it just put me in a bad mood. If I have to update you, I am in a very grumpy mood. Even more grumpy, I'm angry. So I don't know if I've moved on from denial and gone to anger. But I feel angry, I feel empty, I feel sadder for some reason. Because, I mean, time's gone on. I mean, it's almost a week now and I feel sadder. So yeah, I need to edit these video diaries, which I'm going to edit as well as I can because I don't like showing things that aren't a little bit, you know, like uplifting or positive. But I know that these past few days have been like hardcore and I'm not even a quarter of the way up the hill. I'm not even a quarter of the way there. But yeah, maybe I'm like in the anger slash bargaining stage because I'm just like, I'm not bothered I'm, I'm, I'm feeling shitty, I feel like doo-doo I don't want to work, I shouldn't have to work uh, things should just come like easy to me for at, right now because it's not fair so maybe that's, that's I'm, at, I'm at that stage and like one foot into the sadness slash depression, depression stage I don't know, I'm I think I'm relying way too much on these stages of grief and like with eyes on the goal of acceptance even though acceptance is not is not like oh I accept it I feel fine it's gonna be like yep yeah, this is this is reality this is gonna be my life and yeah that depresses me so I feel like sometimes I, I, I'm in acceptance and then I go back so yeah yesterday evening my brother came over which was really cool and we talked a lot not necessarily about the whole breakup thing but we chatted it was really nice uh, had some beers had some beers on an empty stomach which wasn't good because this morning I woke up with the worst headache had to drink a lot of water <laughs> get some food in me because I felt kind of sick uh, but it was really cool. It was really fun. It took, definitely took my mind off of the whole thing for a few hours, which is sometimes what you need. You, I mean, people say not to numb the pain, but sometimes you do need to, like, give it a rest. Like, you can't be, like, healing yourself all the time. And today, I think today is one of those days where, like, I can't be bothered to heal can't I have like one day off of this? Like, can't I make one like clone of the guy just appear just for today, just to give me some comfort and some ease of mind so it's not like a constant climb, a constant fight, a constant struggle? Like, isn't there a friggin' day off? Ah! I want, a fr I want a day off from all of this. Oh, this is a great way to end this uh, breakup diaries. So there we go for the first week of vlogging, the first weekly vlog of 2017. Uh, it's the end of the moping and the pity partying on camera. Definitely on that subject anyway, on that matter. Um, Uh, hopefully next week, well definitely next week, I'll just figure out something else to do, something else to show, something else to talk about. I won't, just won't be going on on that subject anymore because I am over it, I am done. Um, of course I'll still feel bad and sad and there will be some days where I'll feel sorry for myself. It's just the way it goes, it's grief, it's abandonment, it's anger, it's a lot of things mixed up in one shitty package <laughs> but when it comes to sitting on the sofa and talking about how I feel today I'm done with that um, for now <laughs> this is a really shitty outro um, 
But yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna go because there's nothing else to add. And um, if you're going through something similar or something, just something sucky, basically, uh, stay strong and yeah. That's all I can. That's all I can say. That's even all I can do for myself. I'll word you all guys. I'll see you next week.